Hello, my name is Magda Krasowska Igras. I am a trainer of proposal writing and budgeting, currently working in the Information Society Development Foundation in Warsaw, in Poland. I've been writing the proposals for over 12 years now, and I'm going to give you a couple of hints in this subject. Arguments why we should try. Usually, a project preparation means that you are applying for money to implement a certain project. That means that successful proposal will give you the opportunity to realize your professional ideas and dreams. Most of the project proposals you are going to elaborate will include the element of partnership. Therefore, you have to extend the number and quality of external relations of your institution. You will then develop the network of contacts, gain recognition and prestige. The project proposal is not only the sum of your genius concepts. If it does include the element of cooperation, it has to be a result of common work, in-depth analysis of your environment and strategic priorities of your institution. For that reason, the project you will be working on will be more comprehensive, more innovative and more adjusted to your recipient's needs. It will be just better. How to prepare a good project proposal? I would like to show you a few stages process. Part 1. Self-awareness. Self-awareness part is a diagnosis of your professional environment which will help you to identify your hitherto experience, your expectations for the future, and your recipient's needs. So, I would like to encourage you to ask yourself the following questions. What do you have at your disposal? What is visibly missing? What could potentially create a problem? What is the potential to capitalize on? These questions should be answered with regard to your institution, your colleagues, your main beneficiaries, your close partners and the whole environment. Partner search part. You need to establish a good partnership relation which makes your project stable, efficient and attractive. Think about the potential threats and advantages coming from the cooperation with the representatives of different sectors, public, private and NGO. Consider the intercultural aspect of your cooperation and its impact on your environment. So, what you need to analyze to find a good partner? Profile, experience and the activities to get the information about the content of institution activities. Size, infrastructure and finances. To learn about their capacity. Skills and competences of staff to learn about their level of professionalism. Contacts and partnerships to find out what is their cooperation ability, PR and opinions to get the information about the quality of actions undertaken. Part number three, common work on the application form. Let's assume that we have already found our potential partner. How we should then proceed? We should prepare a nice draft showing our experience, our know-how, the scale of our initiatives and the institutional capacity. A few sentences should be dedicated to our project idea and potential sources of funding. What we could do if they say yes? We have to organize as many meetings and conversations as possible. We have to pay attention to share the same values and priorities. We have to secure the partner involvement in the process of drafting. We have to sign the contract regulating the tasks and duties during the application phase and after. Thank you for listening to my feedback and the whole course. You can find some more information below the video.